So goalie, they had just to have a new yet at the wall and get a load. And I should not have a of dog and he will go home and join. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Deha Jistahawi. I'm Turtle Clan and I belong to the Anishinaabe and Onyotaga Nations. Uh, I'm currently a digital artist and I've been doing that full time for a good while now. You know, I never really figured I'd be doing this kind of job. Uh, when I was a kid, I always grew up thinking I'd be going the university or college route, like my mom and dad. But there was something that was always keeping me away from doing that and what that happened to be was making artwork. You know, I was uh, going through elementary school. I was, um, I certainly had my pencil to the paper, but I wasn't doing any kind of schoolwork or anything like that. What I was really doing was um, sitting there drawing Pokemon and dinosaurs and things like that. And I'd catch a good bit of flack from the teachers for doing that too. I'd be sitting there and they'd pull me off to the side or something and tell me, you know, you gotta quit doing that. And uh, it would, that, would, that would keep the artwork at bay for a good couple of days, and it would creep back up on there. But high school wasn't any different either. You know, I'd sit there, and mind you, I wasn't drawing dinosaurs and Pokemon anymore, but I was sitting there thinking about all the artwork I wanted to do, just kind of daydreaming and things like that. So I would sit there thinking about all the artwork that I wanted to do, and then I'd go back home and just get her done. And so I think it was around that time I was, I had a pretty good summer job. I was like 16 or 17 years old and it was right there. I had enough money to buy myself a decent digital art setup. And I, I started getting into that medium, familiariz familiarizing myself with it. And eventually I realized that my capacity to create artwork now that I had a digital medium um, just exploded. Because right then and there in that little digital art software, I had all the colors of the rainbow, all the brushes I needed, and more than enough canvases I could use in a lifetime. So I started uh, continuing to work through this, this uh, new digital art medium. And as time went on, I started thinking about what I wanted to be as an artist. And I figured I wanted to start sharing my story and my perspectives as a young indigenous man navigating colonialism. And so I believe it was, uh, yeah, in 2019, the fall of 2019, I was going to college or pretending to go to college for a good two months before I dropped out. And that's when I made the, the dive into uh, doing artwork full time. And then the lovely year of 2020 came around I ended up getting hired by the Indigenous Friends Association alongside just uh, doing different kinds of client work with various organizations and um, businesses and academic institutions. And the style I was working in was woodland style art, except it was digital. And so a lot of folks came to me for this style of artwork because they wanted me to portray stories that they wished to have translated into um, a mural or a piece of artwork that people could look at. And so with the Indigenous Friends Association, um, I ended up sending them my artwork and my resume and they took a liking to my work and figured, yeah, we'll, we'll hire you on. And uh, so there I went, starting to help them because uh, they were relatively new at the time. So I helped them kind of brand themselves, put together some imagery for their website and things like that. And they had this, this really amazing course that they were offering for indigenous, indigenous folks. And this course was coding, except the only difference was that uh, this, this method of teaching had indigenous ways of learning intertwined with it. And so because everything was remote at the time, uh, we had indigenous folks from all over the place joining in for this. And eventually they figured, you know, you, you should hop in there and teach some digital art. And what that eventually led to was me and my coworker coming up with the idea of having a, a uh, digital art course, something that was solely focused on digital art. So we went and started doing that and, and the turnout was amazing. We had indigenous folks all over the place hopping in. I would teach them anything from the basics all the way to you know, starting to make an actual living off your work. And so one thing that I learned through these courses is that a lot of folks, a lot of indigenous folks, they, they don't have the access to proper art supplies. And in addition to that, 
sometimes they may have had, uh, they may have been discouraged from creating artwork. And so we would have these little graduations at the end of every course, and it would just be an opportunity to celebrate the artwork we made and uh, just raise each other up and motivate each other to keep on what they, what they started doing at the beginning of the course. And a lot of folks would share these, these reflections and these realizations that, man, I, I lost the, op I lost the uh, motivation to do art a long time ago, and now I finally feel like I, I can do it again. Like my creativity got reignited within me. And a lot of that brought a tear to my eye because I, I can relate to a lot of that, not being able to afford art supplies and not being able to uh, you know, do art where I felt like it was a safe space to do it. And so I believe that digital art can help remedy those things. When I bought that, that iPad and that little pencil that comes with it, and I started doing artwork, I realized I didn't have to go to the art store and you know, spend half a paycheck on supplies and all that. And for a lot of indigenous folks, they can't even make it out to, a, to an art store. Where I'm living right now, I'm uh, living in Chimna Singh, uh, some folks might know it as Christian Island or Beausoleil First Nation. I had to go to the art store a few weeks ago, and it took me about uh, four or five hours round trip to get out there. It's difficult. If I didn't have my little beat down Chevy Colorado, I probably wouldn't have even thought about going out there to begin with. So it's, uh, I believe that digital art will be the remedy that us Indigenous folks I believe it will be the remedy for the lack of accessibility for us Indigenous folks in our artwork. Because we're, we're storytellers. You know, our, story, our storytelling preserves our culture. It's how we share, it's how we learn, and it's how we instill ourselves with a sense of belonging and purpose. So I believe that digital art will help remedy that. All it requires is a little, uh, a little iPad or you know, even your uncle's dusty computer sitting in the corner and uh, an inspired Indigenous individual. Yoko, thank you.